Hey guys, welcome back. Hope everyone is doing great. So I am back with one of the videos that I look forward to the most all year long. And now that the final package has joined my household today, I got the last thing this morning. So I was like, yes, we can finally do the Black Friday haul. So I am really excited to show you guys what I got. I got about 70% of the stuff that I really, really wanted. The other 30 can wait until next year. Overall, I'm really happy with what I did get this year, and I'm excited to start trying things. I've got a lot of new stuff, some old favorites that I need to stock up on. So, yep, I'm excited to stop stalking my email every day for tracking info. Now the last thing has come. So the first company that I ordered from was Sorenzo Bath & Body. I wanted to stock up on my clay wash. You guys know that stuff is like... HG of HGs for me. It leaves my hair feeling otherworldly. It's like the best clay wash I've ever tried. So they tweaked the formulation a little bit, but it's still essentially the same. So I got a few different fragrances to try. So first up is the peppermint and tea tree. I wanted to try this one because nothing beats like a really nice minty clean like feeling for me. So I wanted to try the original one because I knew it was going to feel really refreshing to my scalp on those days when I really want that like reset feeling in my scalp to feel nice and cool. Next up is the Twisted Cotton Candy fragrance. You guys probably know from the many times I've mentioned how much I love cotton candy. It's one of my favorite fragrances. It's my favorite ice cream. So of course I had to pick up this fragrance to try out as well. Next up is the Lemon Cookie in the um, clay wash. It smells so good like a fresh citrusy bakery pastry it smells really delicious their twisted vanilla fragrance in the clay wash and last but not least going back to my cotton candy love affair is their body frosting in that fragrance this is like a nice emollient oil I'm going to use it on my ends and also if I'm going to seal my hair and I want like some extra special fragrance that day I'll use this and also to slick my hair up into some buns and being that Sorenzo is super duper awesome, she also included a couple of samples. So this is a volcanic bath soap. I'm going to use this, or bath soap, that you can like put into the tub with you. It smells delicious. I'm going to use this when I go out of town because my bathroom situation cannot do this justice. It's so teeny tiny in there. So it's a really nice size. And she also included a Bliss soap. So really great ingredients. Plus, I like this color gradient effect. It's really nice. So that is everything for Sorenzo. Next up is Hattache. I ordered from them for the first time last year on Black Friday and they struck gold two years in a row. Their shipping is amazing. I ordered from them on Friday and my package was, was here on Monday. So Friday, including the weekend, including like a crazy shipping, like holiday, all that stuff, the stuff came on Monday. So twice in a row, they have a customer for life. So I picked up two things from She Sent It. The first is their Marula Mallow Leave-In and Styler. And Curly Girl Jess, she told me that this paired with the other thing that I got from She Sent It is like moisturized hair for days. And I'm all about multi-day moisture. So I was like, yes, please. When she told me that combo was great. So you pair the Marula Mallow with the Honey Buttercream Moisturizer. So I can't wait to try these. Our hair likes a lot of the same stuff. And yep, my curls can't wait to get into this. So next up is a longtime favorite that I haven't had in my stash for a couple of years um, because I was trying other things, but I wanted to go back to it. And it is the Darcy's Botanicals Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. This is one of the best hair masks I've ever tried. I wanted to get it back in my stash because I'm going to be doing my favorites video in less than two weeks. So my overall 2016 favorites. So I want to try this to see if it's still as awesome as I remember it. Another thing that shied me away from repurchasing this is because it's 8 ounces and it's $20. And you guys know my hair can take down an 8 ounce very quickly now. This will probably be gone in two uses. And I found comparable conditioners that do really well on my hair also that aren't as expensive as this. So we will see if it still can hold a candle to the other ones that I've been loving. So I'm um, really excited to revisit this again because it always leaves my hair feeling so incredible. So excited to have that back in the stash. Next up is a new product that I haven't tried before and a new brand. And it's called the Basque and Bloom Brahmi Root Hair Mask. This is a really nice healthy 12 ounce. It has great ingredients like honey, slippery elm, um, horsetail, castor oil, 
It's also got um, avocado oil as well as various Ayurvedic ingredients. So yeah, and the price for this was great for 12 ounces. So I can't wait to see how my hair responds to that one. The company is Jacayla, and I picked up their flax mallow conditioner in the pink sugar scent. Great ingredients, avocado oil, honey. Um, it's also got jojoba seed oil, flax seeds. So really good stuff. The only thing I'm a teeny bit concerned about is if you can see right at the tippy top here, it looks like it's kind of like, I don't know, been sitting for like a little while. It's got that like, I've been chilling on the shelf type of vibe. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. So I'm going to try it on just one section of hair just, you know, to give it like a little trial run before I just jump into using it all over. But the ingredients are really good, so I have high hopes for it. And I also picked up the Afro Beta Pure Whipped Hair Jelly. I did a review on this about two or three years ago I absolutely fell in love with this product it was the only thing that I used to do my twist no leave-in no gel no oil just this product and it gave me a fantastic twist out every single time this is also something that hasn't been in my stash in a long time I've been trying to order from Afro Veda over the past few years to restock on this but they kind of have like a lot of drama going on with them so I'm glad I can get it from a third party place that I know is like reliable and has like great customer service and um, is a good place where I can get this because though that twist out y'all was like everything it was so awesome so they also sent some samples I love samples I've fallen in love with a lot of different products from being able to try them before I get them which is always a good thing so they sent the Camille Rose Aloe Whip Butter Gel. I can take this with me like on a trip or something to refresh my hair. It's a nice little size just for like, you know, a one time use away from the house type of deal. And they also sent the Kinky Tresses Coconut Mango Hair Butter. It has broccoli seed oil and bamboo extract. This is a very, very generous size sample. So by the end of this, I'm gonna know for sure if I like this product. It's probably gonna give me a few uses, which is great. And I haven't heard about Kinky Tresses before getting this, but I researched them a little bit and they seem to be a favorite amongst a lot of people. So if this goes well, then I'll probably be branching out and trying some other stuff from the line in the future. One of the companies that was really on my radar of this year was CC's Naturals. I've been hearing about them a lot over the last few years, but I never ordered from them until now. So I'm really excited to try their products. They seem really, really moisture heavy, which is just what I need. They had one of the best sales this year. It was 40% off if you order by a certain time and then free shipping at the $35. So it was really, really good. So one of the first things that caught my eye were their sprays. Now you guys know traditionally I'm not a big spray girl. They don't give me enough moisture on their own, but I have found a place for them in my routine. I use them to keep my hair nice and moisturized as I'm styling so it doesn't get dried out because I find they do give me more moisture than water by itself and often they smell really good so it's like a win-win. So the first one that I have here is the Vanilla Sandalwood Marshmallow and Burdock Root Hair Mist. This one smells the best to me. Smells really good. And next is the Eclipse Everything Hair Mist. This one kind of smells like a guy's perfume or a guy's um, cologne rather. So it doesn't smell bad, but it's not um, my favorite scent, but it has really good ingredients. So that's cool. Next is a product that I didn't want to just go get a full size of because it has an ingredient that my hair hasn't liked in the past. My hair cannot stand like orange peel extract, orange peel powder, anything like orange extract, my hair like freaks out usually. But um, this has really good ingredients besides that and I just want to give it a go. Plus it's a good size to really tell me at the end of this bottle if I will like it and it is there flaxseed gel it has really really good stuff in it it's got castor oil flax seeds of course um shea butter coconut oil tea tree amla and the orange is like towards the bottom so i should be okay fingers crossed now these sizes have my heart singing because they're in such big sizes i know they're going to last for me for a really long time so i went for the biggest size they had in both of these the 16 ounce and the first that i have is the creamy flax and the ingredients on this are really, really awesome. It's got water, marshmallow, burdock, which my hair loves in so many different products, mango butter, rice bran oil, coconut oil, and again, this big old 16, 16 ounces, like I'm all over this. The next one is the buttercream moisturizer. 
and this says you can use it as a leave-in a styler um, as a regular conditioner a deep conditioner so to get the most bang for my buck I'll probably use it as a leave-in conditioner slash moisturizer but it's got great ingredients slippery elm um, holy basil which I haven't heard of before um, cherry kernel oil flax babasu hemp so both of these have stellar ingredients I can't wait to try this line especially with the weather being so cold and dry as it is I think those will really help to keep my hair moisturized and I'm happy until it warms up and then beyond also so next is a company that I have been using and my mom has been using for me for years but I've never ordered from them and it's Sally's I've never ordered from them online but you know I've been going to Sally's for as long as I can remember they happen to have one of the better deals for one of the things I wanted to re-up on in my stash and that's the Miel Babasu oil mint deep conditioner I love that stuff but I really didn't want to pay shipping for Miel and I didn't want to spend $75 with them to get the free shipping so this was great it was 30% off plus fifth, uh, free shipping after $50 or something so I could get a few different things all from that one place which is awesome so I got some boring stuff like shower caps for my mom and I but I did get three of the deep conditioners that I wanted they're so good I love these this is the conditioner that I mentioned that I don't know if I need the Darcy's Botanical deep conditioner anymore because this is the same size and it's cheaper and I can get it on the ground so the Darcy's might be like a every once in a while but this is going to be like a staple staple just because of how much better it is price wise and the results are just as good if not a little bit better we'll see after I try it next wash day but these after the sale turn out to be like nine bucks and some change so really good deal for um, this product and I also because it's Sally's I got to restock on my favorite protein oh, something's trying to fall I have all this stuff like a little avalanche right here ready to go at any moment so I also have um the Afogee keratin two minute reconstructor as I mentioned in my review of this product it is one of the only products that I've seen like immediate results with after using it it really does help to stop breakage and keep my hair healthy especially um, since I have the color on the ends of my hair this stuff is great so I have three of those to get me through the year because just one bottle didn't make it through 2016 so with three I know I'll be good and probably make it longer than a year which would be awesome so that's everything that we got from Sally's. I got a couple of things from Natural Sis 72. You guys know that I have a satin lined beanie that she sent me to review a couple of years ago, maybe a year ago now. And I use that one for deep conditioning my hair on the go. I use it sometimes to sleep <laughs> because I get really cold in my room during the winter time. So it's lost its shape a little bit. So I wanted to get one that was just for like running around being cute and staying warm. So I got this black one. It has a really pretty satin lining of course to keep my hair nice and protected and healthy while keeping me nice and toasty. So this is actually the first time that I'm trying it on. Oh that's cute. I like it. I really like it. Oh yeah. So warm. And I love that the shape is like nice and not all like baggy like I've made the other one because I use it for so many things. So this is just my cute little cozy keep my hair protected hat. And I wear so much black in the winter. Well, I wear black all the time, but I wear so much black. But also in the times when I wear color, this is going to go with everything. So I'm so happy with it. Yay! Okay. I'm so happy. I love that. So I also picked up another of her sweet coconut butters. She also sent me this at the same time that she first um, that she contacted me and sent me the beanie from the first time, and I fell in love with it. This butter works so well under wash and goes, twists, you name it. It seals, but it also smooths your hair down really well to prep it for whatever style you're doing. And I had some of the best hair days when I had this. So I've been missing it dearly since I ran out of it. So I um, got it in the vanilla, uh, what was that? I got it in the vanilla float fragrance and I can't wait to start using it again. So you guys, the next company that I'm gonna talk about is probably the thing that I wanted to try the most 
this entire year for my hair and it is the main choice Egyptian collection. When they did the curl box gold and I missed out, I was so mad because this set is normally like $90 and I think it was like 50 bucks when it came out um, for the curl box gold. So I have been like kicking myself that I didn't get that. So when Black Friday rolled around, I was like, now is the time. Um, so those of you who um, check out my Facebook, you know that during the time when I ordered this stuff, I went on a rant. Um, I go into greater detail on my rant, so you can feel free to check it out there. But basically, if you signed up early, you got an exclusive coupon code for 60% off. And I didn't, and they only had the code active for 15 minutes. I didn't get the code until I think it expired two minutes or a minute after I got it in my email. So I didn't get the 60% off. So I was pissed off because that wasn't fair because they hyped it up like sign up so you can get this information. And I didn't get to enjoy the 60% off. So I did get 50% which was their you know standard sale cool. But the shipping for this company you guys was ridiculous. It was $17 for shipping and as you'll see I don't have that much stuff. So um, they wouldn't let you do the $7 flat rate shipping that they normally do because of the sale, which I think is ridiculous. So I was not happy about that. So I'm not planning on purchasing these products again unless they're on the ground. So I will never pay that much for shipping again. It really rubbed me the wrong way, especially since a company like Hattache did free shipping. So if they can do it, why couldn't they do it? So anyway, let's get into the products. So the first thing that I wanted to get in addition to the ancient Egyptian collection was these two the daily moisturizer and sealing cream as well as the tropical moringa daily restorative spray so you're supposed to use these to refresh your hair and keep it really really moisturized until you get a chance to wash it again so these were released not that long ago they're fairly new I want to say they were released maybe four months or less um, ago so these are still fairly new so those were definitely on my radar as well. So now into the collection. It comes with this very, very generous sized oil, eight ounces, has great ingredients, including biotin and various vitamins. I can't take biotin orally. Um, it breaks me out really bad, so I'm happy to use it topically, just applying it to my hair and scalp. So we will see what the results are with that. It also came with a conditioner. The shampoo, which I've heard really good things about, and the hair mask. So pretty. The packaging really is pretty. And these all smell delicious. They just released a body line that smells like the ancient Egyptian collection. I think it's sold out now, actually, but they're coming to Walgreens in January. So definitely stop in and smell them. I will be doing the same thing. And yeah, I cannot wait to try this line. And last but not least, this is probably the most expensive thing in the um, Egyptian collection. This is $20 something dollars, but it's their split in treatment serum and it's supposed to be really good for prolonging the time in between trimming your hair. And that is definitely a goal of mine to continue to be on the grow and not have to trim my hair as much as I have over the past two years once this color has grown out completely. So I'm going to be trimming my hair probably in the next couple of days. And then when I wash again, I will seal this and start to see how it performs as far as keeping my ends nice and healthy and decreasing splits and hopefully single strand knots. So um, this is very, very tiny and I heard that it's concentrated. So hopefully it lasts for a long time as I start to use it. But yeah, I'm very excited about these products, but was not happy about missing out on the Optimum sale since I did everything I was supposed to signing up for the newsletter and all that fun stuff well it wasn't really fun because it didn't work but yeah I did all that and didn't get the optimum you know discount because this is the most expensive brand that I shopped with this year and plus the shipping really like killed it even further like $17 so yeah no more of that for me unless I can get it for free shipping or for very very minimal shipping as far as the price goes but other than that I am I'm very happy to use them and the shipping was good as far as the time I ordered this on Friday and just like had to say I got it on Monday so fast shipping but I would have rather waited for longer to make it free so 
that is the main choice next up is sultanicals so i got my order in two different shipments the first was um individual products and the second was the thing that i was waiting for today the winter bundle that took a while um it didn't release until december the 9th and i didn't get it until today and today it is like 3 a.m so what is today i think today is or when i received it was december 22nd so it was quite a while between black friday and my order coming but um i'm glad that it got here in time for the haul video which is awesome so part one is um involves the aquamain instant moisture potion leave-in conditioner this is supposed to be really really great for matted hair and my hair gets so tangled that we're frequently into matted territory so um i am really curious to see how this does on my tangles because i'm on an everlasting quest to decrease the tangles in my hair so next is the total recoil babasu bantu boomerang butter so this is just a nice hair butter that i'm going to use to seal it's got like pumpkin seed oil candelilla wax um bariti butter so babasu oil is the first ingredient which i thought was awesome so this smells delicious i've used a little bit on my hair already and so far so good i picked up another pumpkin kaolin um curl detox this was one of their door busters the wintergreen conditioning supreme this is a minty conditioner it was only five dollars i wanted to get more than one but they limited you to one to give more people a chance to try it which i respect which is cool so um i cannot wait to try this because it was such a good deal i'm curious to see if we'll bring it back next year also so that's all the individual stuff now the winter bundle was another huge huge door buster in addition to this stuff which was only five dollars the winter bundle everything i'm going to show you was thirty dollars and it was like a game of thrones type of theme like winter is coming and i'm a big game of thrones fan so i was all into it so the first thing that we have is the winter silk main milk she usually comes out with like a hair milk to go with her bundles correlating to the season and um this is the one that we have this year and it has cocoa butter which is really a nice thick butter good for sealing and keeping out that cold weather from your hair next up is the coil soil clarifying hair fertilizer and this is a clarifier that has um dead sea black mud and activated charcoal so as you can see it has the same kind of charcoal color as you'll see in like various face masks that has that ingredient and um, I love detoxes on my hair so we'll see how this one performs also a shampoo exfoliating scalp scrub so kind of like a shampoo bar this also has activated charcoal in it and it has black soap and mud another butter that we have here in this set is the straight butter heavy sealing hair butter and it's got kupuachu mango and cocoa butters no shea butter so i like that um it has like a different mix of butters and it's also got flaxseed oil and agave nectar and it smells really really good a nice size i love these huge oils because i go through a lot of oil because i use them in so many different ways so i like like a nice eight ounce that's cool so this is the kink sink intense moisture sealant and it's got avocado jojoba scent is caramel butter another one of my favorite desserty things caramel anything and it's got um really cool oils it's got manoy de tahiti coconut oil and daroba oil is in the first three ingredients i've never heard of that oil um i do love that they use different ingredients that you don't see every day um olive oil so yeah a really nice oil blend another item that we have here is the afro cider twist curl refreshing mist and this has apple cider vinegar and brown rice syrup this smells so good it smells like those cinnamon nutmeg -y mulling spices that you use for cider around this time of the year it smells just like that cinnamon just like literally like a bath and body works autumn candle but like not as intense but still gives you those like fall vibes and it doesn't smell like apple cider vinegar which is great so since i'm trying to work out more this is going to be perfect for helping my scalp to be nice and refreshed and keep it healthy so, so it's got cinnamon powder pomegranate seed oil apple cider vinegar um nettle hibiscus so i'm really excited about this one and last but not least this is the reason that the bundle was held up in shipping they were waiting on these 
he comes with this headscarf. So it's a pretty good size. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it's really, really long. It's like a traditional African headscarf, I think. And it's beautiful. Really, really pretty. Um, I am going to try to see if I can do some styles with this somehow. But yeah, I love that it's a big size. Pretty pattern. They sent out various patterns depending on um, your bundle. So really nice. So all that for 30 bucks. This next part of the haul was actually a total surprise. I entered a giveaway from She Sent It and I actually won. I was so surprised beyond belief because I can count on one hand the amount of times I've ever in my life won like a contest or a giveaway. I just was like, sure, let's see what happens. And I actually won. So I was really, really happy. And my birthday is actually the week before Black Friday. So this kind of felt like a birthday present in a way. So it was really, really cool. So she sent it, released some new products from a new papaya line that they have. And I actually wanted to purchase some stuff from it. But my bank was looking at me like, no. So I was like, oh, I guess I'll just try them another time. But it worked out in an awesome way. So the first thing I have is their papaya scalp renewing shampoo. And it's sulfate free the super hydrate hair mask it has papaya extract of course as well as sweet almond oil the papaya twist and curl defining souffle it's a moisturizing holding cream for curls and coils and it's got papaya of course as well as argan oil so since this is a styler i'm going to try this um it says it's like a gel and leave-in conditioner in one and i love those one-stop shop products where you can skip a step sometimes when you just want to get wash day over a little bit quicker and still have great results so I'm gonna try this for the twist out the nourishing hair oil it's got papaya and jojoba oil the curling milk the perfect coils curling milk leave-in conditioner it's like a daily moisturizing product this will probably make a good like mid-week refresher also based on like looking at the consistency it's not too heavy but it's not watery so the papaya blooming curls hair moisturizer and last but not least the ultra nourishing conditioner um, softening cream conditioner for all hair types so this is like a rinse out conditioner um, I might try it as a deep conditioner a leave-in and a moisturizer so we'll see how that goes so yeah I was so thankful and happy that I won that giveaway so, Thank you again that she sent it if they happen to be checking this out because I'm still like in awe. I called my mom off like, I won this contest. So yeah, it was really, really cool. Um, so that is everything that I have online. I did pick up a few things here and there over the past few weeks leading up to Black Friday and around that time on the ground. So one of the things is something I've been looking for for a long time and it's this really cute hair accessory set that I saw lipstick and curls here on YouTube. She did a video using these hair accessories and her results look gorgeous and really easy to follow. I normally skip stuff like this because my hair just begs to get tangled around with all the little grooves and different parts and stuff. But maybe if I try these on like a roller set or rod set where my hair isn't as prone to tangling around this stuff i'll have better luck but it was like four bucks at walmart and i had been looking for it for a while so i was like let's see what we can do i think this little stuff would be really cute in the springtime also this like grecian goddess type of look is what she did on her channel so maybe i can replicate that really pretty and if it doesn't work for me i can always give it to like a family member or something um i found this big bottle of my favorite shea moisture conditioner the super fruit at Ross and I'm gonna start like looking at every Ross I pass because I love like, this big size because this is my favorite leave-in conditioner of all time so I've been rationing it out because I'm almost all out of it so if I can find these big size ones that would be even better from Sally's they sent me a coupon for my birthday so I got these items for a really great deal I wanted to get some stuff from true by May beautiful for black Friday because their sales are ridiculous they have everything for five dollars but again I wanted to you know give myself some type of budget so I didn't order from them 
but I got a $10 coupon for my birthday plus these products were buy two get one free plus my Sally's card I got these for like dirt cheap even better than the Black Friday deal so that was kind of cool um, so I picked up another replenishing styling cream which I've used and really enjoy still need to play around with it before I review it but I really do like this it's another one that I can use as a solo styler leave-in all that fun stuff um, the detox mask from the pure line also heard really good things about this one this one has gotten mixed reviews but I'm intrigued by it the purifying rinse it has aloe um, aloe cucumber and apple cider vinegar so it's kind of like a little cleanser also so those were on sale also from Sally's the pure oils by silk elements line this is a moisturizing marmalade this is like a styler that you can use and I don't really check for silk elements usually because of the ingredients but the ingredients on this were really good and they are um, silicone free which is something that I look for in most of my products and also the hair butter by the same line it says great for daily moisturizing protective styles scalp hydration uh, well, y'all I'm telling you it's like 4 a.m. my words are like you need to go to bed but yeah it's good for scalp hydration and it seals in moisture and again this is free from silicones um, I like that it says it's good for scalp moisture because I don't like to put oils on my scalp heavily but I do want to make sure that my scalp isn't getting dried out because it is so cold right now like in my room it's just like torture so I'm glad that I can use this on my scalp and on my hair to help keep things nice and moisturized and main objective she did a great review on this line which is what piqued my interest in them and I think this was her favorite product the hair butter so that is Sally's all done next is Target my favorite store or one of my favorite stores I have a few um, additional main choice items the laid back effortlessly growth stimulating edge control I don't really use edge controls in a traditional way but I do get a lot of flyaways right here on the top of my head because I have some breakage there and because this has biotin that might be a good way for me to help to heal and strengthen and grow that breakage prone area while smoothing the flyaways down so I'm happy to kind of give that a go because I've been struggling with that for years now that breakage and also some more of the doesn't get much butter than this daily hair dressing I'm going to use that for like moisturizing smoothing flyaways and softening the one that I had before wasn't filled all the way so when I like got this one this time I like made sure it was filled to the brim basically before I left the store so this is much more like it the other one was like half gone or something I don't know what was up with that so I've also been rediscovering Camille Rose and loving Camille Rose. I have an old formula of the Almond Jai Twisting Butter, so I wanted to try the new version to see if my hair loves it as much as it's been loving that old formula because I'm almost done with that. The ingredients are similar but not exact, so I'm going to be trying this next wash day also, I think, because my hair has been loving it so much. The Curl Maker, I've been using this almost exclusively as my gel for the past like month and a half, including this set of twists. And this stuff, I remember why I loved it so much when I tried it again. It's back in the rotation. It's an HG. This will definitely be in my 2016 favorites list. Great, great gel. And the last couple of items is something my friend gave me. This Curl Keeper spray bottle. It says it's the perfect or the best water bottle for fabulous curls. So it's supposed to give you like the perfect spray when you're doing your hair. But I was like, I don't want to pay 12 bucks for like a hair bottle. And I was at my friend's house and she had this. And I was like, how do you like that? Is it worth like spending $12 on like a hair bottle, like a mister basically? And she was like, I've had this for a year and a half and I'm not using it. You want it? I was like, sure. So I'm probably going to put like some little concoction in, see how it works. So, and see how it goes. So last but not least, also from Target, is the Glow Tonic from Pixie. The whole line by Pixie is on clearance at Target, so I wanted to pick these up because I like the ingredients and the size is really good for like keeping in my car, like after the gym, and just really convenient. So that is everything for my Black Friday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if there's anything that you'd like to see a review on um, sooner than later, let me know so that I can put it kind of at the top of the list of things to try and review and get videos out. 
for so I'm really excited to dive into everything yeah let me know what you guys got for Black Friday oh well, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video have a great holiday be safe have fun and I will see you guys next Friday in my next video take care everyone bye